Hello, everybody. This is Robert Denton at uh, uh, at my home office right now. It is Sunday night at about 10.30 p.m., and um, it's been a long time since I did a podcast, and I, uh, I apologize for that. Yeah, it's been... Um, I've gotten away from it a little bit, and and I'm not going to do that anymore. This is going to be um, a regular thing here. So I'm hoping that the people that are tuning in now are going to tune in in the future. But um, I wanted to talk about something today that I have. Uh, I've been thinking a lot about my head, and sometimes it'll take me a while to to uh, to get it in my head how I want to say it. So you know, I kind of sit on things for a little bit until I can put it into words. Um, a lot of the buyers that come to me, as a matter of fact, I'm not even going to say a lot of them, pretty much all of the buyers that come to me all have preconceived notions about what it means to buy a house or um, some facet of the home buying process, whether it's uh, the programs that are available for quote unquote first time home buyers, um, you know, how it works at uh, the closing table as far as how much money they have to bring. Um, you know, all these different facets of, of real estate and mortgages that I constantly hear, there's a theme, you know, and I'm, you know, I'm trying to, trying to dig in deep and see exactly where all this kind of, this stuff is coming from. Um, I don't know if it's, you know, just word of mouth or social media society or a combination of the three, but people are definitely getting ideas from a broad range of, of sources. And it's just not always true. So you know, I don't want to talk about, you know, myths, quote unquote, when it comes to real estate, because I covered that in a previous podcast. But um, what I really want to talk about more today is um, the nervousness and the apprehension about buying a house. And I think that's what stops probably 70 or 80 percent of, of people out there is because they're just unsure what it takes in order to purchase a home. I understand it. I came from uh, a renter's mindset. You know, I was raised in an apartment until I was, uh, you know, ready to to fly the nest, so to speak. So I grew up in apartments. You know, we lived on the second story. Uh, landlord was downstairs. You know, we had to be quiet. We couldn't run, even though me and my brother did. But um, you know, it's it, and that's just what we knew. There wasn't any other. You know, somebody told me once that a deer lives within like a half mile or a mile radius of you know, in their whole life, or, you know, that might not be true. I'm not sure. I might be, you know, pulling that number out of thin air, but, um, you know, that's all that they know. That's just, that's their, their universe. That's the world. And that's kind of what it was for me growing up, just because that, that's who we were. We were renters and we decided that a long time ago. So, um, I think the first thing a lot of people have to do is just get it outside their head that they're not going to understand the whole process before it starts. Um, you know, everybody's a beginner. That's, that's the whole title of the podcast here, because even my most sophisticated clients, college graduates, master's degrees, doctorates, even those people come to me and they'll ask questions and you can tell that they're embarrassed about asking it, but they genuinely don't know because they've only done this a couple of times in their life. And, um, if you bought a house even eight years ago, and you're buying another house, you're selling that house, you're putting it on the market, and you want to buy another one, I can promise you the game has changed. There's a lot of things that are different today um, from when the last time that you purchased or, or sold your home. So, excuse me, uh, the point the point I'm trying to make here is that uh, work with somebody who you're comfortable with, because if you're not comfortable and asking questions, you know, especially in the beginning, then you're off to a bad start. Um, Something else I wanted to point out too is that uh, there's something about the human psyche that uh, when somebody around you says that they're buying a home, everybody wants to jump in with their opinion. And I am, you know, I understand people are, you know, nobody means anything bad by it. You know, everybody wants to help. Everybody wants to share their story because, you know, purchasing a home is one of those pinnacle, you know, monumental moments in a life. You know, you, you're born, you graduate, you get married, you have kids, and then you die, and somewhere in there, buying a house is, you know, one of those pinnacles. It falls in there. So it's the largest purchase you'll ever make. You're never going to spend more money on anything in your life than you will a home. 
um, unless you're buying yachts, which, you know, God bless you. But um, I guess what I'm trying to say is um, everybody's going to chime in with their own with their own version of, of how their process went. You know, maybe their mortgage guy did them really well, and maybe they'll recommend that guy, or maybe they'll talk about that, or maybe their real estate agent um, you know, showed them a bunch of houses in an area that they didn't want to see, and they want to share that and tell you to be careful about that. But everybody is going to attach their story to your experience, and you have to be aware of that. You have to be guarded about that. You know, it's a funny thing because when I start working with a client, whether it's on the real estate or the mortgage side, I always tell them, be careful who you're telling that you're buying a house to because they're going to they're gonna insert their opinion whether it's welcome or not. And then you're going to have to field that. And they're going to tell you about, oh, you got to be careful about this and be careful about that. Like I said, I'm going to say it one more time. People are, are there. They have your best interest at heart. They just sometimes don't understand that your story might not be theirs. You know, things are things have changed. Um, so I honestly thought I was going to ramble on for a lot more here, for a lot longer, but uh, it's only been, if this timer is right, it's only been about six minutes. So I'm happy with that. I hope you guys are. I, anybody who's stuck in there with me <laughs> until the end, you're, uh, you are, uh, you did, a, you deserve a gold star because I know I'm, I'm completely unscripted here and I'm just kind of going off the cuff. But, um, you know, a couple of bullet points. Number one, don't ever feel that you're, um, that you're wrong for answering a question or your answer, your, or I'm sorry, asking a question or don't ever feel like you're asking a dumb question because you don't know the process. If you, if you don't do this for a living, it is tough to figure out how you're going to get from A to Z and how you get there the best way and you avoid all the pitfalls. There's a lot of different moving parts in a real estate transaction, people. There's a lot of different, there's a lot of different parties involved. You got buyers, sellers, lenders, home inspectors, appraisers, um, attorneys, real estate agents, title agents. I mean, there's there's a lot of different chefs, and they're all trying to get into the kitchen at the right time, and it's tough. It, and it's a dance. And if you if you're trying to go go in there without you know with the least amount of representation possible without an attorney without a real estate agent you need a loan officer unless you're buying cash but uh, if you're trying to go you know combat that whole thing and not use anybody you're you're jumping in uh, dangerous waters without a raft because the professionals are there to help you um you uh you have to be aware of of all the little traps that you can fall into. Not that there's people out there scamming you, but there's things that can be done and there's ways that things can be structured to definitely benefit you as the buyer or the seller, whichever side that you're on. Um, but in closing, again, everybody is a beginner. Even if you're doing this for the third time, you are still a beginner because the the table has changed. The, the, the setting has changed. I can promise you that. So, um, feel free to reach out to me with any questions, comments, concerns. You can reach me at 708-785-1308, text or call. I'm available most of the time. Uh, you can also reach me at robdenton0907 at gmail.com. That is R-O-B-D-E-N-T-O-N-0907 at gmail.com. Um, I look forward to hopefully talking to my audience out there. I'm going to set this up next time where I'm going to do a little bit of advertising and let people know what's going on here, but I'm also going to do something when it comes to, uh, interacting live with the audience. I think that's going to be fun. So, uh, let me get through some of the technical stuff on here and I will figure that out. But, um, yeah, any, any professionals out there, you know, you don't, doesn't have to be in real estate. It could be in other things. If you guys want to join me on a podcast and we could just kind of, you know, shoot the bull a little bit back and forth. I would love to do that as well. So have a very happy uh, Sunday night slash Monday morning. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably throw it out there to see who I can uh, who I can get to suggest a, a topic for for next week. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do one of these every Sunday. So um, let's hear some topics on the next podcast, people. Uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Have a wonderful week. Bye bye.